Fell in love with a player I was chasing her but she was chasing the paper da, da. You got a bad man falling Going through hoops like Jordan, Jordan Give me one time, one time I'm Clea Lurie and welcome back to my channel. So y'all, I have Taco Bell here. Y'all, I'm kind of tired. I just got out of church. I'm a little tired, but I wanted some Taco Bell so bad. So I went ahead and got the Chalupa box. So y'all gonna come with the big Chalupa taco. I'm also trying these um, chicken rolls that I don't think is gonna be good with spicy mac. No, this is spicy ranch. Mm. Mm. It's hard. I feel like it would have been better with um with beef. But let's jump into it. They ain't give me no napkin, so we're gonna make it do what it do, y'all. I like hot sauce. Gotta have my hot sauce. I got Mexican pizza here. I've never tried Mexican pizza before because it had beans on it. So like I customized it and said no beans, please. So they didn't put no beans on there. Let's try it. Mm. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Chips and cheese, y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all got emails to read today. But y'all can tell I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Church was good today, though. Yesterday, me and Kamari put our Christmas tree up. So, did y'all see that video? I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was fun. Me and her had a good time. Okay. Exhale Chalupa, y'all. Mmm. 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 Sour cream just busted in my mouth, y'all. That was a lot. But how's the goat? <clears throat> Excuse me. Send mm. a twist. Baby, give me here, so shout out to him. Because they didn't put none in the box. So y'all, um, these are the little chicken roll things. It tastes like a um, like a chicken pizza roll almost. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really care for it. But I'm gonna eat it. You know what I'm My piece is so soggy over here. It's okay. Mm. Would I get this again? Probably not. Like, I feel like I regularly get nachos. And then the pizza. Mm -hmm. So how y'all day going? Ooh, very chill day. Mm. That should look good. Give you napkins? 
Can you give me some if we got some up here? My baby. Y'all, you know, so it's my natural hair. <laughs> I've been wearing it out this weekend. Give me a break. Thank you, pumpkin. You want to try this little roll thing? I don't like it. What is that? It's a new chicken roll. What's up, y'all? I'm, I'm not decent. <laughs> we can have it. Want some more sauce? Mm, what is that? It's, so it's a new chicken. Oh, a spicy ranch. It's okay. It's special. Yeah. You want to try pizza? Mm -mm. I'm full. I'm getting there, too. Super was okay. Yeah. That's my first time having one. I'm getting full. You talking about that email? I ain't ready yet. What? Wait till y'all hear this, man. I know. I'll be on the next one. Okay. Love, Love you. I so. Let's go ahead and get to the email because y'all probably like, let's get into it. I'll let him read it. He should have got into it, into this one, but. He got a haircut. Yeah, I know how that is. Okay. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm a 34-year-old woman that has been messing around with the pastor. Now, listen, before y'all call me messy in a hoe or something, two years ago, him and the first lady took a break, not quite a separation, but they let it be known that the congregation, uh, oh, excuse me, but they let it be known to the congregation because of certain changes. Anywho, me and the pastor have gotten close and more on his end, but he's an attractive man and I am single. So now, two years later, word has gotten out, and now I'm looking like the homeworker, when in all, he came after me. Since the word has gotten out, he stopped communicating with me and told my cousin, which is a member of the church, that I should stop attending the church. The first lady has been rolling her eyes at me, parking really close to my car, so I will have to get her car when I get out of my car. Just little petty things like that. My question is, should I just pack up and find a new church or make it known that I'm not the bad person in the situation and place blame on the pastor as well? He was like my boyfriend for two years. Dates, hotel runs, presents, you name it. Anyways, let me know, y'all. Love your channel, sis. Thanks, girl. So, yeah, that, that was the email, y'all. Crazy, huh? I've actually gotten a... No, 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 never mind. Never mind. I thought I got an email kind of like that, but I have gotten an email prior of the pastor being gay and the wife found out because the husband was talking to the her husband. That makes sense? Yeah. But that was a while ago. Excuse me, I ain't burping. But this one, dang, girl. Um... Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been going there for at least two years, it sounds like. He's the pastor. Y'all both had like a little affair. Mm, this is tricky. That's real tricky. I don't know. I mean, like, do you like the church that much? Like, because you know, pastor is God at churches, you know? I'm not talking falling apart. Like, pastors can't do no wrong. Mm. I really need this napkin. Like, okay, yeah, you're not the, well, hold on. Let this information store. You kind of are a homeworker. For the simple fact that they were not separated. Nor were they divorced. Okay, so technically, you were messing around with the married man. <clears throat> Excuse me. But definitely, you need to... Well... Hmm... Because, like, if you do tell the church in the congregation, they, are they even going to care? You know what I'm saying? And, boom, after you tell that the pot, the pastor's involvement, they're still going to look at you with their face turned up. Mm. 
So, mm -hmm. man, if I was in the position, I would probably leave. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like you're not gonna really win either way because they already don't like you. They feel like you are the homewrecker. So ain't no sense of sticking around for real. Mm. That's just my opinion. I've got what baby shit. Mm. But the first lady can get it though. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you doing this little petty stuff to your husband as well? Nah, like, don't be trying to come at me taking care of crazy. I'm doing a little slick stuff. And your husband's the one to blame as well. At least I talked to you, you know, <laughs> when y'all wasn't together. I guess. Mm -mm. I don't get full. We're so good. Taco Bell will forever be my favorite restaurant. Hands down. Okay, so final verdict on this hood. This uh, Mexican pizza. Not really a fan of. Tried it for the first time, hated it. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna touch this second one. I mean like, y'all hear that? And these are granite. Well, plexi, whatever my baby call them. You hear that? Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm good on those. Um. Nachos is always bomb. Their cheese is just the goat. Mm. This um, chalupa is good. Chalupa is dang good. But <clears throat> it's a lot of bread. Not so much meat today. So you just eat the bottom. Mm. I wish Taco Bell had more um dessert. So a lot of time that's all we want. Alright, me and baby eat. He'll get food. I'll get dessert. I love my sweets. Let's tear this taco up. It's falling apart. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I definitely should have got large. I don't know what I was thinking. I never get a small or medium when I go to the restaurant. You gotta give me a large. Cause I'd be thirsty. Okay, no. Mm, okay. It's pretty tasty. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Mm-hmm. Let me know down below which I should tell her. Again, her question was, should she leave the church or should she make it known that 
the pastor has some involvement in this whole ordeal. Um, I wouldn't say I was I want to say do both, but then at the end of the day, excuse me, excuse me. At the end of the day, you tell your truth, they're still not really gonna fuck with you at the end of the day. So just pack up and go, girl. Learn your lesson from this. And don't mess with the pastor. Especially if you got a first lady, okay? Uh -uh. We can't do that. I'm gonna catch on my next video. Peace.